again and welcome to my channel um, today's tutorial is for another crochet stitch called the Lark's foot stitch um, I'm using a double knit yarn and a five millimeter hook for this particular project but you can use any uh, weight of yarn as long as you use the correct hook size um, for the yarn itself it's a good a project to use up any um, leftover yarns that you've got as a stash buster because you can do each block in different colours um, or you could do it all in the same colour or keep to a, a two colour stripe. We start with a foundation chain and the chain needs to be in multiples of four plus one. As always we start with a slip knot onto the hook and for this particular swatch I'm going to work with 21 stitches so we've got five fours plus one stitch so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and then the extra stitch twenty one we're now going to work a double into the fourth chain from the hook and that's going to create two stitches. We've got the three chain here which counts as the first double plus one double. We're now going to work a double crochet into the next chain and we carry on working in blocks of three across the chain. So we're going to skip the next stitch, chain one. So we're skipping this one and we're going to work a double in each of the next three chains. There's one, two and three. Chain one, skip a chain and we're going to work another double crochet into each of the next three chains. Chain one skip the next chain and work a double into each of the next three chain. Chain one, skip the next chain and we're going to work one double into each of the remaining three chains. So there's row one complete. For row two, I'm going to turn the work and work three chain, which again is going to count as the first double. So on this next row, we're going to work a double into each of the doubles, skip the chain and work into the doubles again. So we've got one double, one double making the three doubles again. Chain one, skip the chain from the previous row and work a double into each of the doubles from row one. Chain one, skip the chain and work one double into each of the doubles from the previous row. I'm just going to carry on all the way across exactly the same chain one skip the chain space and work a double into each of the doubles where we've got the chain space we're going to work a chain skip that chain and work a double into the last three stitches the final one you'll be working a double into the third chain of the starting stitch on row one. <clears throat> so there we've got the first two rows. To change colour I'm going to snip off the yarn and pull the end through and fasten off and start in with a second colour. Now it's up to you whether you want to join into this first stitch with a slip stitch and work three chains or you can do um, a standing double crochet which is what I'm going to do on this one. 
So slip knot onto the hook and then to do the starting double crochet we yarn over, go into the stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over through two and yarn over through two and that gives us our standing um, double crochet <clears throat> to start the row. So we're now going to chain one and this time we're working on these three stitches here so we've got the double, the chain space and the double. So we're going to work a double, we're going to skip this double here, work a double and then we're going to do a long double and we're going to work it into this chain space from row one. So we go into the space, pick up a loop and then we're going to pull the yarn up so that it's on a level with this double here and finish off the double as normal. And then we're going to work one double into the first double of this block of three. Chain one, skip the middle double and do the same again. One double, and then the long double down into row one, remembering to pull up the yarn and then a double into the next double. Chain one, skip the next double and we're working a double, a long double and a double. Chain one, skip the middle double from this row and work one double, one long double and a double into the next stitch. Chain one and then we're going to finish off with a double into the third chain of the previous row. So the next row we're going to chain four which is going to count as a double and a chain and again we're going to work doubles over the doubles and skip the chain one space and work a chain in between. So we've got four, four chains counting as one double, one chain and we're going to work one double in the three doubles from the previous row going to chain one, skip the chain space and work a double into each of the next three doubles. Chain one, skip the chain space and work one double in each double from the previous row. Chain one, skip the chain space and work three doubles. Chain one and the last double is going to be in the standing double crochet that we made at the start of the row. So we'll fasten off this colour again and join in the next colour that we're going to use. I'll join in the dark turquoise, slip knot onto the hook and again I'm going to use a standing double crochet here. Um, I just think it, it's going to give a neater finish to the finished project. So we start with the standing double which is yarn over into the stitch pick up a loop through two, yarn over through two. So we now chain one, we're going to work down into this chain space from the first row of the second colour and we're going to do the long double. So remember to pull up the yarn so that it's 
on a level with the first stitch and then work into the first double from the block of three with a double go into chain one and then we're, again we're working into these three stitches here with a double a long double and a third double chain one skip one stitch and repeat the double the long double and the double chain one skip the middle stitch and work the next block of three chain one skip this middle one I'm going to do a double I'm going to work the long double down into this chain space here and then the final double will be into the third chain of the starting three chains so the next row these will all be exactly the same that you're going to work doubles over the doubles skipping the chain one spaces and working a chain in, in that in place so we've got three chains to start and two doubles I'm going to skip the chain work one chain and again just work one double into each of the doubles and I'll see you when we get to the end of the row so I've reached the end of the row where I've done a double into the last stitch and these six rows here form the rest of the pattern so you're working alternate long stitches into the one chain spaces that we left from the um, the first row of the previous colour until you get the required length of whatever you want to um, whatever size you want your project to be and that's the Lark's Foot Stitch I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe and I hope to see you again soon thanks for watching bye